Hey everybody, Brian here. In this video, I just want to show you how better to understand the cruise control on a Ford Cougar. And the instructions are probably relevant to most Fords from this time. Anyway, the first thing we want to do is make cruise control available. So there's a button down here on the steering column. You'll see over here on the left-hand side, looks like a little clock almost. So you want to press that button first. That means the cruise control is available. And once you've pressed that, then you'll get a corresponding readout to say it's in standby mode on the screen. Once you're ready and you're at the correct speed, hit the set button here and that means you can take your foot off the accelerator and the car will automatically maintain the speed that you've set. While you're in the cruise mode, you can also increase the speed or decrease the speed by using these up and down cursors. So upwards is to increase your speed, downwards is to decrease your speed without using brake or throttle inputs. Once you're finished using cruise control then, there's a CAN button over here, cancel. Hit that button, so hit the cancel button or brake or clutch and it'll finish the cruise control mode. Okay, say you haven't turned off the cruise control yet and you've slowed down for a lorry and now you want to reactivate where you were cruising at, you can hit this RES button, resume, and that will automatically get the car back up to the cruising speed you were cruising at and reinitiate the cruise control again at the speed you were previously cruising at. Most cruise control functions always have a speed limiter as well. So a speed limiter is where you want to set a maximum speed that you don't uh, exceed. So in this case, there is a LIM button. So we hit the LIM button here we'll see a corresponding message that comes up on the screen as well to say it's on standby and then what we end up doing is we set it just like before so we hit the set button now the car will maintain that maximum speed unless if you fully floor the car it will override the speed that you've set it at and it'll allow you to move on for an emergency situation but if you like to accelerate it will stop you exceeding that say for example in this case 120 kilometers an hour that i decided to set the limit at so anyway if you have a ford hopefully you understand your cruise control and speed limiter function better thanks a million for watching 